A political nailing is causing a major controversy in one race tonight. Now the Catholic Church is weighing in. 10,000 of those cards went out in the mail, and tonight some people say they're just crossing a line. Five Eyewitness News reporter Colleen Mahoney uncovered who's behind that mailing. Oh, and you're, you're... Campaign ads and political signs are part of all elections, but this one has hit a nerve. It looks like it's a... Uh, uh... A reverend or a priest. Are you offended at all? Oh, yes, I am. It appears to be a priest on the front wearing a button saying, ignore the poor. That's not a good ad. Not fair at all. A priest? Ignore the poor? No. The photo so provocative, bloggers around the country called it anti-Catholic. Even the archdiocese criticized, quote, we trust it was an unfortunate decision. I'm not sure it's the smartest ad to do in the world. The ad is actually targeting Republican Dan Hall, a pastor who's not Catholic. He's running against incumbent Senator John Dahl, a Democrat in District 40 in the South Metro. Dahl didn't put out the mailing. The DFL party did. And those generally are the types of ads that are more negative, because usually candidates don't like to sort of do the dirty work themselves. No one from the party would go on camera when we went looking for answers at the St. Paul office. I just don't understand why you guys can't make a free statement. Yeah, let me go check and see if you... But DFL spokesperson Donald McFarland did say the mailing has been taken out of context. We just heard from the DFL incumbent John Dahl who said he had nothing to do with this mailing and he's asked the DFL not to mail anything else like this. Hall, who says he spent 30 years serving the poor, says the ads are way out of line. Reporting live in the newsroom, Colleen Mahoney, 5 Eyewitness News. And you can see the full ad. We've scanned it and posted it online at KSTP.com. Just click on links at the top of the page.